Hey guys, it's Jade. <laughs> so I managed to scare the crap out of my husband, which is good. <laughs> so obviously I'm doing like a, I don't know what to call it, kind of split personality, half dead, Barbie tutorial. Um, this was a request to do a Halloween tutorial that's still really creative, but is good for sensitive skin. Because um, I know quite a few people out there can't use liquid latex and things like that. So this is a completely natural tutorial, except for obviously makeup. But um, yeah, it's just using a mixture of um, flour and water for the glue. And these are just tissues that I've used. I put some red food colouring in to make the kind of blood. And that does kind of build a layer over the top of your skin. So if you want to use fake blood over the top of that, that's fine that barrier between. Yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'd love for you to rate and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so start off with your glue already made. So I've just used normal flour and water. Um, just mix it till you have the right consistency. You want it to be thick but not too gluggy and you don't want it to be too watery either. So similar consistency to that will be fine. And you will also need some tissues. Just remember if the multiple ply, you can just use one layer at a time. So start by applying the, the glue and placing the tissue along where you'd like the skin to look ripped. Now tissues are quite delicate, so just make sure that you take your time and yeah. And as I said, just peel off those extra layers if you don't want them there. So continue this along your whole face, um, just in the design that you've got in mind. It does help if you've got a design already kind of planned out. I'm also applying some extra tissues on the bigger areas of my skin. So later on when we put the fake blood and stuff over the top, it's going to look like your skin's all kind of mangled and gross underneath. It's very important to make sure it's dry completely before you move on to the next step. So here is a picture of dry, it's all hard and you can see wet underneath is still all cluggy. So on the other side I'm applying a foundation to the remainder of my face and it's also important to apply the foundation lightly over the top of the tissue. This will transform it to a skin colour and make it look like it's part of your skin. So now I'm taking some face paint for sensitive skin. If you're worried if your skin will react, do a skin test the night before. And if there's any redness or anything, I wouldn't recommend using it. But if it's fine, go ahead. So I'm just applying this on the left out section, just on half my lip and around my lip area. So while that's drying, I'm applying a very vibrant blush to my cheeks, also to my lids and adding some glitter over the top. Now using a liquid eyeliner, I'm applying a very thick line to my top lash line. It doesn't matter if it's messy, just make it nice and thick. I'm also using the same color onto my brows to really make them stand out and make them more kind of cartoony. So to really create a doll-like eye, I'm creating a false lash line. So line your lower lash line with white pencil, trace around the outline with the same liquid liner, and I'm drawing on some little false lashes as well, just to make my eyes look really doll-like and big. Quite a contrast to the opposite side. So for the teeth, I'm creating just kind of like a zigzaggy triangular pattern using a liquid liner. Do this on the top and lower line of your lips. Just make sure you exaggerate it as well. Don't have them on top of your lips, have it on the skin around your lips. Extend the line to make it look like your teeth. And I'm adding some shadow, like just a brown shadow to the outskirts of it just to really darken it and make it look more realistic.
also add some dark shadow where your lips meet in between to really create this amazing look. So now continuing with the feel of sensitive skin, I'm using some red food colouring in the flower glue that I made earlier. So this is a great way to add some red to your skin and this will also create a barrier from your skin to the outside. So if you do want to have some fake blood over the top, it should be fine because there is that barrier. Make sure you use like a plastic bag as well though to make sure there's no drips. So I'm just using a tint brush and applying this all over my face. If there are kind of peeled bits back, make sure you apply it underneath there to make it look really realistic. So now I'm taking a dark blue eyeshadow while the blood is still wet and kind of patting this where the fake skin is peeled off. This is going to give the illusion of kind of bruised, damaged skin and I'm also applying the same dark shadow around the rest of my skin on this side to really contour it and still keep with that dead feel. A big black makeup crayon and just lining this around my whole eye socket to make it look like a skull head. I'm applying some fake blood over the top. As I said, you can do a skin test if you're worried about it being sensitive, but there is now that flower barrier from your skin to the fake blood on top, so it should be fine, but use your own discretion. I feel it really brings the look together and makes it look so much more realistic. I'm also using a bit of um, scar wax as well on top, just to kind of glue any bits that have fallen down together, and it does add more of a group gruesome, gross kind of effect. So finish off with a hot pink lipstick and you're all done. So thank you so much for watching. I'd love your support and don't forget to subscribe for all of my latest videos. Thanks again. Bye.